How you doing, YouTube? Mountain Massive Bear Reviews. Back to another review. A little bit of IPA time. In the form of Fulton Brewing's Sweet Child of Vine. What's not to like IPA, no, oh sorry, Northern IPA. Um, so, you know, Guns N' Roses references. All kinds of goodness go, going on. On the outside, we'll see what happens on the inside. As far as what else it says on this can, it says, um, let's see, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Fulton Brewing. Um, balanced, complex, and approachable. Where do we go now? Where do we go now? You know, nah, 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 all that whole thing. 6.4% uh, alcohol by volume, and that'd be that. I actually do like their logo. Can's cool. You know, it doesn't blow me away, but I dig it. So I put a glass down, pour some beer in, I'll talk about it, and then you guys will be like, whatever. So there we go. It's called science. Mm. Of course, pretty dark. So you're talking about, they say not New England style IPA, they say Northern style IPA. Are they trying to coin your own phrase here or style or whatever? I do not know. Um, what we have here, though, is a rich, deep, dark kind of uh, penny copper with a pint of kind of orange kind of floating around in color. So you definitely have that kind of more old school kind of malty Ford kind of IPA, kind of that Midwest kind of IPA, Minneapolis out that way. Your kind of chill wavy Chicago um, pipes work style color IPA. Um, you know, mm, head wise, finger and a half. Nice creaminess to it, big bevel on it, neurotic bubble strout, and just kind of somewhere south of khaki. Subtle haze to it, nothing too crazy. Definitely kind of get right through there, uh, view wise, but a subtle haziness in super duper. Uber soft carbonation to her. Let's see what the nose has. Kind of what you'd expect from, uh, um, you know, a beer, an IPA that looks like this. You're getting a malt base there. It's nothing too kind of, it's not caramel this, it's not honey that. It's more of just kind of a sweeter, darker, semi-dark malt um, nose to it. Uh, the hops are herbally with a bit of citrus going on. So definitely kind of old school vibes throughout the whole thing. Soft bittering, that'd be that. You know, she smells kind of like an old school Midwest kind of IPA. That's your middle of the country Chicago style kind of kind of IPA. So she looks like a you know what an IPA. She smells like an IPA. See what she tastes like. Cheers. Way more thicker than I expected. Um, based off of the nose. For you date Nazis, this is about three weeks old. Um, herbally, spicy kind of hop to her. A little bit of citrus, more rindy than fleshy. Um, uh, a malt body that's kind of verging on that kind of soft, kind of American barley wine light kind of vibes because of the hops and the malt that's going on there. Almost like a caramel malt, but not as rich and sweet and robust. Um, nice mouthfeel, nothing too crazy. And yeah. A chugger, 6.4%, uh, um, big robust flavor at that ABV, but, um, you know, it kind of definitely, kind of definitely, I like to say that one a lot, don't I, um, kind of flirts on the edge of being super duper old school now, is that a bad thing? No, um, you know what I mean, for a lot of people, that is a beer style that is, not that old school is a beer style, but old school style, OG style IPAs is, uh, are hard to come by nowadays. A lot of people are trying to do the new cool hippest thing that they tend to be a bit of a dodo bird. So for people that are actually looking for those kind of beers is definitely hit the spot. I know you're not going to get your juiciness off or you're going to get that kind of herbaliness. Now that I take another big sip and getting a bit more kind of resiny pininess. So it definitely leans more West coast and East coast, but it just, screams of old school from malt bill to hop usage to hop presentation it just uh, smells of old school but there's a nice kind of cleanliness to it it's made well there's really not much there as far as flaws it, it has robust flavor for it's relatively lower abv so yeah old school all the way uh, let's talk about it. it's one of the better ipas that i've had as of late uh, for me no i do like that new school they tops the way they were gr are growing and the way they are used change for this guy to like them. So they tend to be the ones that I kind of gravitate towards. But uh, a good beer nonetheless. Value availability? Don't know. Uh, just kind of landed in our area. I was lucky enough to kind of get this on the spec. And uh, yes, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if this is a regular shelfie or something that's kind of just dropped drips and drafts. I believe this is kind of their flagship beer. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. I do know it's available in New York, Pennsylvania, and the surrounding areas of Minnesota. A couple states, probably I think they're in about 10 states, 
It's off the top of my head. And uh, other than that, if you like what we like, this, if you like old school IPAs, there's a little bit of East Coast going on, but the more I kind of drink on it, it gives me kind of more West Coasty vibes. Um, but it's that kind of Midwest with a nice dollop of West Coast in there. It's not just a pure West Coast kind of style IPA. It's kind of that Midwest with a dollop of uh, West Coast. And uh, if that's your kind of deal, if that's the beer you're looking for, then this definitely going to put the bill. So there you go. Another review on the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, didn't anywhere in between. Now no words and stuff and things. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and tapped. Massive beers all four of those places. Whispers. And uh, yeah, there you go. Another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed a beer right now. And hope to see you next time. Cheers.